first foods came around at the beginning of time through creation for us. They promised themselves to us, and we promised ourselves to them. They're our way of life, so we have to protect them at any cost. Nusuch, Yamash, Piache, Chaush, Timesh, we want to. So the first foods comes from a tribal creation belief that when the world was created and the creator asked the different animals who was going to take care of the Indian people, this is the order that they promised themselves. And that promise is remembered in the way that the foods are actually served in the community longhouse. They're served in that same order. And water is first because all life depends on water. I'm pulling out the nets. There's three blue back and one steel head. So that serving order reminds us of that reciprocal responsibility to take care of those foods that promise to take care of Indian people. And it takes us from in stream and a floodplain to the mountains where the huckleberry are. This is why we can't separate natural resources from cultural resources. They're the same thing. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh, yeah. Mm. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, a little bit farther. The biggest concern to me is that if climate change predictions are accurate and if you see shifts in the suitability of habitat and, and range for entire species like salmon or maybe even other foods like roots and berries. If those foods shift in their distribution significantly, then it's kind of like they're leaving the community behind. My people have been here from time immemorial doing this promise, singing for these things, our brothers, our sisters, teaching our children, and hopefully we'll be able to teach those things to our grandchildren and generations down the road. Mimi, Pama, Tamana, Klaukna, Outnit, Quarat, Namilaikai, Kuk, Naknuisha, Namit, Tamanuit, Qualisim. Out your out your cook, Nama. Or Achna, Nami Sinuit, in the eight, Kunak Nuit Achna, Clough, Natun, Outney, Twilat. Iowa, Nami could cook, cook.